What's up, court nerds? Time to get served. It's your boy, Phil. And boy, do I have a Manning clip for you. It's just a tiny preview of what we're going to have tonight on Time Live at 7.30. What I'm going to have show for you today is just a little portion of her freak out and a whole lot of field sobriety tests in the courtroom. So let's roll, nerds. Other people, by their spouses, by their significant others, getting her walking up, getting her delivering food. And you ladies should be looking out for one another. If it's like when I was a kid, it still took a village. So if there's kids, guess what? If something was to happen and one of your children ran outside, Miss Thomas, I got a feeling, even if Miss Jackie Sims don't like you, that she would go and dash out there and get that kid from in front of the car. That's what a village does for people. This is messy. iPhone. Oh, my God. Sir. Put that cigarette out. I don't give a crap that you are outside of your, this. What is wrong with everybody today? You know what, Miss Reed? We're going to start bringing people in person. People are going to learn how to act in a courtroom. Dear. All right. Don't you light another cigarette, sir. You heard me tell Miss Sims to stop smoking. All right, I'm not gonna put this in place because you ladies seriously need to help one another. It takes everybody helping one another. It does. Don't say anything to Miss Thomas. Don't, don't make her come back here again with complaints, but I do this and your neighbors, and we all gotta live somewhere near neighbors and some neighbors don't like each other. Some just don't like them, but don't do this. Just decide you can't get along, but try. You're gonna need each other at some point in time. Y'all place your emails in the chat. Once you do, we'll send you a copy of the dismissal. Y'all stay healthy and safe. Please take care of one another. And you know what? Be more like Michelle. They go low, you go high. They go low, you go high. That'll be like Michelle Obama, make us happy. Y'all place your email in the chat. We'll email you copies of the. Okay, maybe tell Sasha to get her back on the line. Okay. All right, uh, Cynthia Bradley, Leon King. Yes, here. All right, Mr. King, you have to turn your camera on. Okay. You have to turn your camera on. No, I'm trying. I don't know. It's, it's, it's been on this whole time. All right, now take yourself off mute. Both, of, both of y'all, y'all swear or affirm the testimony you're about to give is the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. Yes, I do. Okay. Mr. King, you're gonna have to take yourself off mute. Let me see you, not your ceiling. I need you to say yes. I just swore you in. Yeah, I'm, I'm okay, here. Go ahead. Okay, okay, okay. I'm here. Ms. Bradley, start with the most recent event, work backwards. Please be specific and please stick oh, yes, to the facts of what he did to you. Okay, Leon King is my brother. Uh, he lives on the property at 5700 Spence Circle, where my 93-year-old mother lives. But I am her guardian, and I hold the power of attorney over I mean, her. What he did? Uh, what he did, and I have a video to show it. Okay, and this can you was show your screen? Okay. And right here. Is it on? What's this video of? 
I, I, I don't see it. You're not sharing your screen. Can you see it? No, ma'am, you're not sharing your screen yet. You gotta figure out how to share your screen. Okay, oh, hold on. All right, why are you doing that? All right, what is this video of? Your brother, what's he doing? If there's audio, you gotta put share audio too. He, I can't hear you. Okay, he is talking to me. Okay, share the audio. My hold on. Share the audio, back up, play it with the audio playing, and don't talk over it. Let me run. So back it up, rewind it. We gotta share the audio with it. All right, now play. Okay. Okay. Where am I? Can you put it? What what day was that video? Okay, that was on uh, March the third. It was on a Friday. This was at my mother's house. I am, like I said, my mother's legal guardian. Got that. What else has he done? Well, he has done this on numerous occasions. This is the time that I have been having my phone to record him doing it. I am just tired of him, and I'm afraid that he Is will. Your, your mother afraid? Well, my mother had uh, called me. This is a, a few months ago because he plays music real loud, and she has been concerned. But no, she's. I don't. She's not afraid of him. But I have to take care of her. I have You're to be in the house. Him. Has he ever threatened to hurt you? Well, just as okay. far as getting in my face, saying horrible things to me, like he had that beer bottle. I mean, he could have hit me with that. Okay, Mr. King, let me hear from you. Take yourself off mute, Mr. King. Take yourself off mute. Okay, now you can speak. Go ahead. She got this. Ma'am. Let me see your face. Turn your camera back on. Go ahead. Turn the camera back on. Now, see, I, I don't know about the phone. Okay, okay, just one second. Okay, leave your camera on and just speak. All you got to do is hand him his phone. Ma'am, can you see me now? No, I can't. She, she can't still see. She, she can't see me. She can't hear me. <laughs> I can hear you. Stop turning the camera off. No, ma'am. I'm not doing anything to the camera. Well, it's on, then it's off, then it's on, then it's somebody. I'm not doing it. I can't. Well, can you see me, ma'am? No. no. Ma'am. No, I cannot see you. She can't see me. <laughs> she, she can't see him. Is anybody ready that knows what they're doing? Anybody? Well, how bonus you couldn't make your stuff, your stuff getting going at first. Now all of a sudden you got audio. I'm ready, Joe. Oh, is he now? Bring him in here. Bring Mr. King in. We got a deputy. Get a deputy up here and bring Mr. King in this courtroom with a deputy. I'm gonna get back to you. It's free. Get a deputy. And bring Mr. King in my courtroom with a deputy. Get right here. Get a deputy now. I know it. Get a deputy right now. Wait, she's saying Just stand by, Mr. King. I'm gonna hear from you, but I'm gonna hear from you right in here. Yeah. I'm maybe gonna invite this little camera right here. Yeah. I gotta bring in here, but I gotta have a deputy. He's gonna bring in here. Just hold on, Mr. King. We're going to get a deputy in here. Yeah. Hold on. We're going to get a deputy in here so I can hear you. You're going to stand right here in front of me. So just have a seat. Yes, ma'am. 
Charlotte. All right. <clears throat> okay. Who's ready? All right, how about, how about Mr. Giles? Try this. Nope. Let's try this one. Mr. Giles here. And there's uh, the Amy Bengri. Miss uh, Amy Bengri, raise your right hand for me. Take yourself off of me. You swear a firm testimony about to give the truth, whole truth, nothing but the truth. Take yourself off you. Ms. Amy. I'll do, I will bring you in here in my courtroom right here where Mr. King's going to go and somebody's going to jail. But not Ms. Durvin or Ms. McLeod. Thank and Mr. Rear, not Mr. Rear either, Your Honor. She'll, she'll cooperate. Um, All if right. you could, do we need to prepare the order? Ms. McLeod, can she, Ms. McLeod, prepare the order or? Sure, just prepare something real quick that'll get a date, Ms. McLeod, and send it to me so I can e-file it. I can get and what, what are we going to say for some reason? Well, you and Mr. Lane going to talk and decide on which day he's going over there and getting his stuff. And y'all going to put it in order and I'm going to sign it. Thank you, Anna. All right. Y'all have a good day. Yes, Thank Judge. You, Thank you. Uh, Thank y'all. Good to see y'all both. Zach Steinfeld. Good to see you too, Your Honor. Good morning, Your Honor. Savannah's still appearing on behalf of Mr. Steinfeld. He's present in my office. And great news, we resolved it. We're just working on finalizing documents to submit to you. So happy Friday from us. Man, that is out. <laughs> oh. All right. So you guys just gonna email me the documents when you get done? Yes, Shana, we're, uh, we can, I'm working on pushing send right now. If you want to uh, finish going through the calendar, I would hope that we could have them submit here in the next couple minutes. All right, do you guys wanna go into a breakout room? I don't think we don't, need to judge. I think Ms. Steele is just going to circulate a DocuSign. There's two exhibits. Is that right, Ms. Steele? That's right. Okay. I'm just, I think that's it, Judge. Y'all done a, y'all done a uh, some field sobriety test because I can go back to my days and do one. Y'all did it. See how he's doing. Yell the toe. Do some little field sobriety testing on him. One of y'all, any one of y'all field sobriety certified? Are you? Go ahead and try. I bet Justin Spiesman can do it. I bet he can. I, I tell you what, sir, come right here. I'm going to try this book. I'm trying to pull you. Okay, I'm going back to my good old thing. That, that's it. How did you get here? I suggest you not drive going back. Yeah, that's what I suggest you do. <clears throat> this is five. You didn't even get to see me do my field sobriety test. Judge, I was really looking forward to that too. I'd wonder if you still remembered your SFSD training. I do. Two I'm beers. All right, hold on a second. Look at this one, this one. Mr. Leon. 
I'm going to leave it up to these deputies if they think that you ha shouldn't have showed up here drinking like you're drinking because that shows up. To, I have no, no patience for that. And trust me, out of the day, I'm sitting up here, I'm the one that needs a drink. Huh? I do. Because look, when I do this, if I unmute this, you hear all, it's like echo, echo, echo. If I bring the podium in here, because it's supposed to be over here from the podium. The podium's in here. I hear it echo and all that, and it's muted. Now, I just needed Mr. King in here. I mean, you can work on it later if you want to. But you see what the problem is? It's something you can fix right now. Do what? Oh, no, no, damn. And if I Okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get this back on track. Explain the video that I saw. The video that I saw. Why did you act like that in the video? Your mama is 96 years old. 93. 93 with all with dementia or Alzheimer's, and you go out at her house and you act like that. Well, where was that video? Wasn't that at your mama's house? But that was working the way you were talking. I'm 
And that's what made me. But she didn't care about women in my life. She didn't care nothing about the words of her. She didn't know a lot of people like you know, she, she is a control freak. Yeah. I can think of all the stories about her. You know? I mean, I love her because she's my sister, but she got some nasty stories. Yeah. And I have not. Miss Bradley, what is it you're asking for? I'm asking your honor for the TPO, and I would like for him to move out of the residence because he's not going to get any better. He, um, I don't live there, but he he has a, a house right next on the property. I, I would like to make have him move out of his house. The, it's uh, it's my mother's house. Is she living there? Yes, ma'am, she is. You live in the house, and do you live in the house at night like this with your mother? It's the guest house. Even live in the same house. It's the Why guest am I house right next on the street. To it? I'm sorry. Why would I put him out on the street if he doesn't have a place to go? If he's staying in a guest house, he's not staying in her house. The house is on her property. I just want to feel. I know safe. what a guest house is. Yes, ma'am. I want to feel safe when I go to have to see about my mother. I could go over there at midnight if they call me if they need me. He makes me feel unsafe. He was waving that beer bottle. He could have hit me with it. I don't know what he would do. do what? Everybody, he's a bully right, for stop one thing. Talking. Stop talking. Okay. What do y'all do when folks show up like this at the courthouse? Because I smell alcohol on you. You drink more than two beers and you did it more than at 4 a.m. So why don't you come clean? Because it will help you a lot more if you shoot straight with me. You drank them before 4 a.m. You, drink, you didn't drink those beers at 4 a.m. I'm just start drinking beer. Why do I still smell it? I was thinking about reading your rights and putting you in contempt, but see what I'm doing with these deputies because they don't want to do the paperwork. Make sure that you get an Uber. Drive that car off and you're going to go to jail for DUI. You don't need to be driving. I'm telling you. I ain't a cop no more, but I, was, I did do my civil sobriety test because I know him. And if you don't, Mr. Spies in here, if you get that DUI and there's a good DUI defense, you're probably going to call him. Make sure he doesn't drive away from this place, y'all. Get him out of here. Don't you ever show back up at this courthouse drinking. And be glad I'm in a good mood. Get him out of my face. I'll put this in place. Stay away from your sister when she's up there and have a little respect for your mother. I understand, but don't, don't show out like that with your mama there. She needs you. That's fine. Ms. Bradley, put both of y'all's emails in there. I'll get it somewhere where I can send hit and hit. I'm, right I'm sorry, Your Honor. Get, put your email address in there. Somewhere, an address that we can send Mr. King his copy. Okay, so is, is it... I'm uh, putting it in place, ma'am. Okay, thank you, you so Stay much. away from you. And he's not, I mean, he's there. He helps take care of the property. He's going to stay away from you when he comes there. Uh, I'm not okay. making him move out. He's going to stay 20, at least 20 feet away from you. You got it? Uh, yes, ma'am. I, I okay. Do. Put your email in the chat. Once you do, you can leave and put somewhere that we can send a copy to Mr. King. If there's uh, an address. Yana, may I ask you one question? No, though? You can't. I just want to know. No, no. You okay. Can't. All I'm right. Sorry. It's a long day. I, I understand. This is in place. I'm not making him move. He obviously takes care of that property. No, ma'am, he doesn't. The property well, looks. Okay. He said, I don't have proof that he does. Okay. If there's a All woman right. with dementia or Alzheimer's. Who needs everybody to come up around her? And if you ain't cutting the grass, he can live in that guest house, but he can't come within 20 feet of you if you're there. If he does, he will go to jail. If he shows back up here at the courthouse again and walks into this courtroom drunk, he's going to go to jail then. Now, place your email in the chat and please uh, place an will. address when we can mail a copy to Mr. King. Thank you. Thank you. Well, there it is. I hope you enjoyed it. Can't wait to see you tonight. Time live, 7.30. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. See you later, nerds.